I was going to go to a convention in early October, but then something happened. What was it? Hang tight, because we're talking about it in today's video. Are you ready? Let's go! Hey there, I'm Comedy Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. And if you saw the title of this video, you know we're talking about Carolina Fur Fair. A smaller furry convention set to occur in Hickory, North Carolina on the first weekend of October. But then something happened. What do I mean by that? I mean that in the late portion of September, a hurricane struck the continental USA and North Carolina was affected big time by it with massive rains and windstorms causing all kinds of property damage and the heavy rains resulting in heavy flooding so much so that at least one dam was under threat of breaking due to all the water pressure. So they had to make the hard choice to relieve the water. Due to the heavy rains, the waterway that would have normally taken the water safely away was already overflowing. And so it caused massive floods, resulting in massive property damage and even lives lost. This is not a joke, people. This was something major that occurred. So, if you have the resources available, I highly recommend you look up charities or health organizations that are trying to help out those affected by the hurricanes. Yes, hurricanes, because not even a month later, another hurricane hit Florida again. And that was double whammy. No fun there at all. Once again, if you have the resources available, I encourage you to consider lending a hand, whether it be just financially, setting items, or even yourself, if you can get there to lend a physical hand in cleanup or to help with the reconstruction and or power structures to get people resources that they desperately need. But you might be saying, what does any of this have to do with Carolina Fur Fair? Well, you see, while Hickory, North Carolina itself was relatively unaffected by the hurricane, it quickly became a hot spot for rescue workers and or relief workers to gather to help reconstruct Western North Carolina. And as such, Nearly every hotel and convention center was booked and then some. That means the hotel rooms at Carolina Fur Fair had arranged ahead of time, and even the convention space that they were booked to have their convention in had to be repurposed. And so the staff at the North Carolina Agile Society made the hard choice to surrender it and tried to reschedule it for next year. But what about for everyone who put money in to attend the convention? Whether they were just people going to have a good time there or even a vendor. What about those people? Are they just out of luck? Are they just up a creek without a pebble? No way to get their money back? Wrong though! You see, the people at the North Carolina and Society, or NCAS for short, made the choice to have everyone who book the ticket in advance, roll over their ticket at the general entry point, no matter what price point they entered at. So that way they would at least get some of their money back value-wise, and they can still go to a convention. Now if you pay for a ticket at sponsor tier or higher, they're making every attempt to ship out the goodies that, that you paid for extra money for or to you, or to arrange local pickups, so that you yourself can get it in your hands ASAP. I'm honestly surprised and impressed by that. I mean, not only did they give you an option to go to Carolina Fair Fair again for free or to the Free with Group Convention, which is happening in March of 2025, but also arranging so that any goodies you have pre arranged for are going to get to your hands no matter what. But what about the vendors? The vendors had to pay extra to get a table to vend at. And even then, even if they got 
full refunds or a guaranteed slot at the next convention, which they were offered by Lei. I confirmed that with that myself. But the vendors also pay extra money to get more goodies to sell at the convention. So the people at North Carolina and Society had the media team share out all the social medias for the vendors to try to give them some sales at this time of need. I know that was a drop in the bucket compared to having who knows how many attendees show up and walk past their booth day after day at the convention because not everyone would follow the social medias of Carolina Fur Fair or NCAST by themselves. Maybe 1 out of 10 on average, but it is something and they made every attempt to my knowledge to make this right to the vendors and to the attendees. With that being said, would you want to go to the Carolina Fur Fair when it happens? Or maybe BlizzcardCon? If so, let me know in the comments below! I would love to be able to meet you there. And, speaking of BWizzcard, if you want to see my con vlog, that will be linked in the cards above and description below. And that's from the 2023 BWizzcard Convention. And if you want to see more of my content in general, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like, maybe a comment, share some friends, family, other furry friends as you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny.